when you're here at the event, sort of describing what you do, what is if if you got five minutes to try to lay it out for somebody, how do you how do you go about that? So the, the baseline for our solutions is uh, it's a it's a world of connectivity for for personnel, uh, for assets, and recently for raw material. Uh, connecting all of those those assets and uh, moving parts back to the cloud, and then providing operational insight, uh, performance, and safety for the uh, the mine sites. So you're you're doing all of that. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the baseline of the technology, which is what, probably why it took so long to get to to market, is because it, it does have, it's quite versatile. It yeah. does have many use cases. And uh, the types of technology that we wanted to roll out, we wanted it to be universal. Right. Uh, so that universal system allows us to have a, uh, a visibility above and below the ground. So do you, are you doing it through, you know, are you going direct to the mines? Are you doing it through partnerships? Like what kind of, like how's it in the network set up? Yeah, we, we certainly use the partners uh, to our advantage to be able to grow our footprint. And it's a, it's an overnight growth for the footprint. Mm -hmm. So we have different uh, electrical contracting companies that we use internationally. Oh, okay. And uh, we use other individuals within the, uh, the industry which can provide us a complementary technology to ours. And uh, it becomes a, an easy sale for them to come in with what they have and to upscale. So they're so integrating it into existing basically services they're providing yeah right yeah, yeah. so yeah. to give you an idea uh we we work with a lighting company that has a provides a digital highway for our technology to be able to get the the data back to the cloud right what is the communication you know it's sorry you'll have to you'll you'll have to take me into some of these areas because i'm i'm probably not going to ask the exact right question but is this is your technology is it a two-way communication or is it one is this a management sort of oversight communication or is it like a two-way it can yeah it performs two-way um, communication with the the user and the cloud and it can also provide communication back just directly from the cloud application and back to the tags themselves so we can have uh, different types of alerts which are sounded in a, a real world environment based on a rule or a piece of logic which has been ingested into the cloud. So do you have a particular, now can you maybe give a mining setup? What What is an actual example of what it would look like? I, I see you actually, these are, I'm assuming these are some of the sensors here. Yeah, so the, these are these are different types of tags that we have for, for different use cases. Uh, these ones in particular are used for, for tools and equipment. Uh, they can also be used on uh, consumables. So okay. having visibility of those coming in and out of an area, wherever they're meant to reside, they can be governed to that uh, location. Yeah. So a tool shed, for example, we know when they come and go and we reduce the churn and people tend to fall in love with the tools that they have on, on site. And sometimes they, they want to keep them yeah. for good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that's a little Just quickly where, so on a tool, how would this attach on then? So they'll use different types of um, silicon uh, okay. to, to uh, seal them onto the, the devices. They can also pop rivet and screw as required. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's different sort of mechanisms for it. Now, when you say tools, are you talking $100,000 tools or are you talking like do people use them for like basic you know, drills? and? Yeah. Well, in fact, it's the drills and the, the, those types of items that the walk away thing. and, and oh, yeah. they don't come back. I might even have one in a shop somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the use case is... Automated tool shed. Yeah. Um, the use case for this type of device is uh, material tracking. So this can go inside the raw material after the blasting is complete. Okay. And we can track it all the way through the process. So wow. We know where it's come from and uh, where it's gone. Wow. And uh, this is a, a personnel tracking based solution. So this is an ID card easily integrated into the existing workflow. Covers the, the regulatory requirement of having identification when yeah. they're on site. And uh, it allows them to communicate back to the cloud with their location.